sense the universe looks like it behaves like a quantum computer at some level. That if you're playing a computer game, then there's kind of a reality there, right? But it emerges from just bits, bits of information. Have you ever stopped to wonder if everything you experience might be nothing more than a digital illusion? What if the world around you, from the air you breathe to the stars above, is actually part of a grand simulation? Today, a claim so provocative has emerged that even one of the world's leading physicists is at a loss for words. Brian Cox, known for his clear explanations of the cosmos, recently found himself stunned when Willow Chip suggested that our entire reality could be a simulation. This idea challenges everything we have taken for granted about existence, leaving us to ask, could it be that every moment of our lives is predetermined by lines of code? The claim immediately grabs your attention, promising a deep dive into one of the most mind-bending theories of our time. We are about to explore the ideas behind the simulation hypothesis, review expert reactions, and examine what it all might mean for our understanding of the universe. And if you think that is all there is to it, think again. What happens next is even crazier. Stay with us as we peel back the layers of this astonishing theory and invite you to join in the conversation. Willow Chip has recently emerged as a bold voice in the realm of unconventional science. In a daring statement that sounds straight out of a science fiction movie, Chip claims that the reality we experience is nothing more than an elaborate simulation. According to his argument, every sound we hear, every sight we behold, every emotion we feel might be part of an intricate program running on some vast unseen computer. His message is simple yet revolutionary. Our world may not be as real as we think. Chip's claim is delivered in plain language, without resorting to excessive technical details. Instead, he paints a picture of a universe that could be managed by unseen programmers. Imagine for a moment that all the laws of physics, every natural phenomenon, are simply pre-written instructions. Our lives, our choices, our very thoughts, could they all be predetermined by a series of commands embedded in a cosmic operating system? Chip suggests that what we perceive as free will might be nothing more than an illusion crafted by the rules of this simulation. The idea is so radical that it forces us to question the very foundation of what it means to exist. If reality is just a simulation, then everything we hold as absolute, time, space, even the laws of nature, might be subject to change at the whim of an unseen programmer. The implications are staggering. Our entire universe could be an experiment a carefully controlled environment where every outcome is already set in motion by an algorithm. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Is it possible that our world is simply a sophisticated digital construct? Take a moment to think about this provocative notion, and if you're inclined, share your thoughts in the comments. Your perspective is an essential part of this exploration, and we invite you to join in the discussion as we move forward into even more astonishing territory. Brian Cox is a name that resonates with anyone who has ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries of the universe. As a physicist renowned for his ability to explain complex concepts in an accessible way, he has long been a trusted voice in science. However, when he encountered Willow Chip's suggestion that reality might be nothing more than a simulation, even Cox could not hide his surprise. Imagine a scientist who has spent decades unraveling the secrets of the cosmos, suddenly confronted with an idea that turns conventional wisdom on its head. In several interviews, Cox admitted that the notion left him momentarily speechless. For someone whose career is built on understanding the physical laws that govern the universe, the idea that these laws could be nothing more than lines of code is both fascinating and unsettling. Cox's reaction is not one of dismissal, but of genuine intrigue. His astonishment comes from the realization that if our reality is indeed simulated, then the very principles that have guided scientific inquiry for centuries may need to be reconsidered. It is not enough to simply understand the universe as a collection of particles and forces. We must also ask who or what is behind the simulation and what is the purpose of this cosmic experiment? This question strikes at the heart of human curiosity. If the universe is simulated, it could radically alter our understanding of everything from gravity to quantum mechanics. The shock on Cox's face when he first heard Chip's claim is a reminder that even the most seasoned scientists can be challenged by new ideas. And as we continue this exploration, his reaction serves as a powerful testament 
to the need for open-minded inquiry in the face of revolutionary concepts. Keep in mind that the discussion is only just beginning. As we delve deeper into the subject, you'll discover even more intriguing perspectives that build on this initial shock. Stay tuned, because what comes next will take you further down the rabbit hole of discovery. The idea that our reality could be a simulation is not entirely new. In fact, it has roots that stretch back through centuries of philosophical debate. Ancient thinkers pondered whether our senses could deceive us, and modern philosophers have built upon these ideas with the simulation hypothesis. One influential modern thinker, Nick Bostrom, even argued that if a civilization were to advance far enough technologically, it would be capable of creating countless simulations of its ancestors. According to Bostrom, the probability that we are living in a simulated reality might be higher than we are comfortable acknowledging. This historical context is important because it shows that the concept has evolved over time. While early philosophers speculated about the nature of reality using abstract ideas, contemporary proponents now have the benefit of modern computing as a reference point. The simulation hypothesis bridges the gap between ancient skepticism and modern technological possibility, making it a compelling topic for discussion. Yet what sets Willow Chip's claim apart is not its novelty, but its presentation. Chip delivers his message with an intensity that makes the abstract idea of a simulated universe feel immediate and relevant. His assertion comes at a time when our own lives are increasingly intertwined with digital experiences, from virtual reality to sophisticated video games. And the line between what is real and what is simulated is becoming ever more blurred. Now, if you're finding these ideas as intriguing as we are, consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest revelations and discoveries every week, and your subscription helps us continue exploring these groundbreaking theories. With that in mind, prepare yourself for the next part of our journey, because the evidence and expert opinions we're about to discuss will challenge everything you think you know about reality. Before we move on, take a moment to reflect on this. What if the scientific laws that govern our lives are not eternal truths, but rather carefully crafted rules within a grand simulation? The implications of such a notion are not just academic. They strike at the core of how we understand existence itself. And as we transition to the next section, get ready for more expert insights that add even more depth to this fascinating debate. As we delve further into this discussion, a range of opinions from scientists and philosophers begins to emerge. Some see the simulation hypothesis as a useful framework for questioning long-held assumptions, while others caution that without concrete evidence, the idea remains in the realm of speculative thought. What is clear, however, is that the reaction to the simulation claim has been as diverse as it is passionate. There are those who argue that even if our reality were simulated, it would not necessarily diminish the beauty or significance of our experiences. After all, whether our lives are the result of natural processes or program sequences, the emotions, relationships, and discoveries we make remain profoundly real to us. On the other hand, some experts warn that taking the hypothesis too literally could lead to a form of digital mysticism, where science blurs with philosophy in ways that obscure more than they reveal. The discussion takes on a new dimension when considering the practical implications of a simulated universe. If every aspect of our reality is indeed governed by a set of pre-written instructions, then the concept of free will becomes a topic of heated debate. Are our choices our own, or are they simply outcomes predetermined by an underlying code? And if everything is controlled by an algorithm, does that make us any less unique or meaningful? These questions have sparked intense debates among thought leaders across various fields. Some believe that the possibility of a simulation could drive us to question our assumptions and seek deeper understanding, while others worry that it could lead to nihilism or a sense of fatalism. The spectrum of opinions highlights the profound impact that this idea could have on our worldview. Now is the time to consider your own stance. Do you find the possibility of a simulated universe liberating or does it undermine the sense of authenticity that makes life so compelling? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement not only enriches the conversation, but also helps us explore this topic from multiple perspectives. As we build on these expert reactions, the narrative takes another exciting turn. The next set of ideas will push the boundaries even further, 
offering clues and arguments that may reshape our understanding of reality. Stay with us because the forthcoming evidence is designed to challenge every preconceived notion you have about the nature of existence. The idea that our reality might be a simulation carries enormous implications. It forces us to rethink the fundamental nature of existence and to question the assumptions that underpin our scientific and philosophical understanding of the world. If what we experience is simply a simulation, then the very laws of physics, the constants and equations we have relied on for centuries, could be subject to change. In a simulated universe, these laws might be adjustable parameters in a vast computer program. Imagine a world where the rules of gravity, time, and space are not immutable, but can be rewritten by an unknown programmer. Such a possibility challenges the notion of objective truth and suggests that what we consider to be natural laws might just be a set of instructions that can be altered at any moment. This concept has far-reaching consequences, not only for science, but for every aspect of our lives. It calls into question the nature of free will, the essence of personal identity, and even the purpose behind our existence. For some, the simulation hypothesis offers a way to reconcile seemingly disparate ideas in physics and philosophy. It provides a framework in which advanced technology and the limits of human understanding intersect in a thought-provoking manner. For others, however, it poses a risk of reducing our lives to mere algorithms, stripping away the mystery and wonder that make life so profoundly meaningful. As we contemplate these implications, it is clear that the discussion is not merely academic. It reaches into the very core of what it means to be human. Whether we are living in a simulation or not, the questions raised by this theory compel us to re-examine our place in the universe. What is the nature of reality? Who or what is the architect behind our existence? And most importantly, if our lives are indeed programmed, how should that influence the way we live and make decisions? These are not questions that can be answered easily, yet they are questions that inspire curiosity and ignite debate among scientists, philosophers, and everyday thinkers alike. It is this sense of wonder and the drive to explore the unknown that propels us forward. As you reflect on these ideas, consider what they might mean for your own life. How would your actions change if you knew that every moment was part of a grand design? Before we wrap up, we invite you once again to participate in this discussion. If you find these ideas as compelling as we do, please subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Your subscription is a vote for curiosity and discovery, and it ensures that you will be the first to know when we uncover new insights that challenge the boundaries of what we think is possible. Today, we have journeyed into a realm where science and philosophy intersect in the most unexpected ways. We began with a bombshell claim that everything we experience might be nothing more than a sophisticated simulation. Willow Chip's provocative suggestion has stirred up a conversation that even left Brian Cox, one of the foremost voices in science, visibly shaken. His reaction reminds us that even the most established experts can be challenged by ideas that force us to reconsider the nature of reality. Throughout our discussion, we explore the simulation hypothesis from its ancient philosophical roots to its modern interpretations. We examined expert opinions, debated the potential implications, and asked the big questions about free will, identity, and the laws of physics. Every step of this exploration has revealed just how much there is to learn about the universe and how many questions remain unanswered. So is our reality just a simulation? The evidence may not provide definitive answers, but it does open up a space for inquiry that is as exciting as it is unsettling. The possibility that our world could be governed by unseen lines of code challenges everything we hold dear about science and human experience. It pushes us to embrace uncertainty and to continue seeking the truth, no matter how elusive it might be. As we conclude, remember that this discussion is only the beginning. The questions raised today will continue to inspire debate and exploration for years to come. If you found this exploration fascinating, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a chance to dive into the latest discoveries and theories that are reshaping our understanding of the world. And if you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you believe about the nature of reality and whether you think we are truly living in a simulation. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of discovery. Keep questioning, 
keep exploring, and most importantly, keep the conversation alive. The truth may be stranger than fiction, and the next breakthrough could be just around the corner. Until next time, stay curious and never stop seeking the answers to life's greatest mysteries. Peace.